on Local 10, how someone can steal your property without you knowing and sell it. It just happened to one woman whose family has owned the property in Coconut Grove for more than 100 years. We're hearing from this victim and a one and only exclusive. Local 10's Terrell Fournay is live to explain. Well, the victim in this case is an 86 year old woman who is very much of sound mind, but this property here in the West Grove neighborhood was still sold without her knowledge. So today she showed up at the police department to file a formal complaint. Deeply hurt that someone would do this to me. Shirley Gibson can only stare at the 5,000 square foot lot that was ripped from underneath her feet. It represents my heritage. My grandfather purchased this early in the 1900s. The 86 year old is a descendant of early Bahamian settlers turned pioneers of Coconut Grove, a family that has kept several properties in its name for more than a century. I would like to have a legacy to leave to my niece and my nephew and my family. But when Shirley showed up to pay the annual tax bill this week, she was told it had already been paid by a new owner and was shown this deed of the sale prepared by an Aventura title company and notarized by a licensed notary two months ago. He says that Miss Gibson was physically present. Miss Gibson showed a driver's license. Miss Gibson signed this warranty deed, which as we know, she did not. Is that your signature on the deed? No, it is not. It was forged. And because it's a criminal matter, you know, my mind's. A record show the $230,000 purchase on paper was by Ali Development LLC, a company whose address comes back to this residential neighborhood in Brooklyn, New York. To make matters worse, a second property in West Grove, owned by Miss Gibson, has also been listed for sale. Without her knowledge, neighbors are jumping in to help. I contacted Zillow five times already, and it's still listed. Developers are just trying to get in here any way they can. Property values are skyrocketing. I'm drained to think that someone would do this to an old, old uh, person, would take advantage of me. And Shirley Gibson's attorney is certain that he can get things worked out, but it will take some time. But how can you prevent this from happening to you? Homes without a mortgage are more susceptible because there's less red tape for the criminals who work like this. But experts really suggest that you monitor the county property appraiser's website every so often, about three months or so for anything suspicious, and also set up an alert system with the credit bureaus. They are trained to alert you for situations like these. Mm. Reporting live from Coconut Grove, I'm Terrell Forday, Local 10 News.